Where'd you get the wig and dress? I made it. We thought wigs were only used for heads, but Hollywood proved us wrong. We were shocked to learn Cara Delevingne wore a very particular type of wig for one of her films. From hiding balding to protecting hair extremely damaged by bleach, we were surprised by so many of these actors who wore wigs in films. What were they hiding? I didn't have time to grow my hair, so we had this, like, pelt. Tom Holland totally shocked fans when he chopped off these beautiful locks for his role in the film Cherry. Though what surprised us even more was seeing this wig on him in the same movie. It's definitely a different look, but the transition is pretty seamless. When he got back to filming for the new Spider-Man, the plan was to put him in some hair pieces to bring him back to his Spidey looks. Holland surprisingly refused and opted to keep his natural hair for the movie instead. Wow, she looks pretty. Pretty much everyone loved Millie Bobby Brown sporting her new long and curly locks in Enola Holmes. This style really suited her, but in reality, it was all a wig. It was a very different experience for her since the last major hair transformation she went through was shaving all her hair for Stranger Things. Except for those times Eleven wore this terrible blonde wig. We definitely don't miss that. That's Edward Cullen. <laughs> Totally gorgeous, obviously. Robert Pattinson had a bit of a diva moment when it came to shooting Twilight. Originally, he was meant to have hair extensions to achieve a more timeless look, but Pattinson hated them so much he literally ripped them out of his head. So they went with this wig instead, which was actually five different wigs and hair pieces put together. Oh, the hair drama. Seven years ago, I had my uh, a kidney transplant. We were so surprised to learn the reason that Sarah Hyland was wearing extensions and hair pieces for much of the Modern Family series. Hyland suffers from endometriosis and kidney dysplasia, for which she's had to get 16 surgeries, including two kidney transplants. All the treatments she had resulted in quite a bit of hair loss, so to keep her looking like the Haley we all knew, hair extensions and additions did the trick. I'm gonna come back only better this time. Katherine Heigl has played tons of iconic blonde characters over the years, so her role as the brunette Tully in Firefly Lane was definitely surprising, but just as iconic. At first, we thought maybe she dyed her hair. After all, she did rock the brunette look in One for the Money. However, looking at her Instagram, it appears that she's still a blonde and indeed actually wearing a wig for Firefly Lane. Since her hairstyles throughout the different decades do vary quite a bit, her wearing wigs definitely makes sense for ease of transition. When Ashley Benson played Hannah in Pretty Little Liars, she bleached her hair regularly to achieve this signature blonde look. After a few seasons, Warner Brothers contacted her and said something needed to be done because her damaged hair was becoming extremely noticeable. She wound up using a wig instead and fortunately was able to prevent her hair from being harmed anymore. It was a really great match since we never even noticed the difference. While some wigs in Stranger Things were obvious, Q11's blonde mess, we were shocked to learn that nearly every actor had a wig for the show. This included David Harbour with his 80s style do. It looks very natural, but in real life, his hair isn't quite as full as his character's is. Yeah. And then it gives her a little bit oh, of a go down. base foot. So I never go to sleep in an We have never heard of an armpit wig before, but it turns out they exist. That's right. Cara Delevingne had laser hair removal done on her underarms, assuming she'd never really be required to have hair there again. But she was so very wrong. Her role in the film, Her Smell, required a grungy look and vibe, so these armpit wigs were created for her using ventilated lace wigs. My hair grows to here, and then it goes, nah, we're good. We're gonna stop now. Rachel McAdams was pretty smart when she was cast as Regina George in refusing to bleach her hair. Maybe she researched it and knew how many actors had terrible experiences with it. Instead, this gorgeous hair she had was a wig entirely made of human hair. It makes sense why it looks so realistic. He got a haircut. It's sexy, hot. Oh. Krasinski shares the sneakiness trait with his character Jim on The Office. When season three of The Office rolled around, he was cast in the George Clooney film Leatherheads. And we can see that his hair is pretty far from Jim's signature floppy locks. The production didn't want him to cut his hair, so Krasinski wound up asking the hairstylist for The Office to make him a wig in secret. He went on to have a full conversation with showrunner Greg Daniels in the wig to prove that it wouldn't be noticeable and, well, he managed to pass the test. Costume and hair makeup, it all changes and... Along with all of the Tatiana Maslany clones in Orphan Black came a multitude of impressively realistic looking wigs. We knew some of the wigs, especially these blonde ones, were fake. But even the most natural looking ones we see here were all wigs. 
every single character from the twisted look to the natural waves had some of the most impressive real looking hair we've ever seen on screen. You shrunk five inches. Oh my God. You'll be able to wear heels tonight. Emma Stone's hair wasn't too different in terms of color and curling hair definitely isn't out of the ordinary for films. What was more shocking to learn is that these two styles are actually two different wigs. They definitely fooled us though. I'm not a ginger, I'm a, a dirty, dirty blonde. Sam Hewen is a natural blonde, but the actor did dye his hair red for his role on Outlander. However, the dyeing didn't end up working out so well, so wigs came to the rescue. Even though they ended up being better than dyeing hair for six months of the year, he was not a fan of the wig either and said that it was so uncomfortable to shoot in, it actually felt like torture. The wig didn't take too long, my hair is a wig. The mullet is cringy, we know. But it's shockingly realistic. Even the crew didn't realize that the hair on the side of his head was all part of a wig. Watching his wild audition tape for the show made us believe that the mullet definitely could have been his own absurd creation. What? You look nice. There could probably be a video done just on the evolution of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine hair. The first time he played the role, well, let's just say he looks like he could be related to John Travolta. When we see him in X-Men Days of Future Past, we can see that his hair looks a bit more natural, but guess what? It's still a wig to hide his balding. You're very good. People enjoy your work, you know, Oscar nominations and all that. Why have we never really seen Michelle Williams rock her gorgeous pixie cut in a movie? Only one of her last 10 movies had her appearing without a wig. These long blonde locks she wore in I Feel Pretty really did transform her. It's sad to say that the reason she is rarely sporting the pixie cut is because of the stereotypical expectations of beauty in Hollywood. What's with the outfit? Sudden chills and light sensitivity. When we think of House, we can definitely imagine him with or without a lot of hair, as it doesn't really have much of an effect on the character. However, Hugh Laurie did indeed wear a hairpiece to fill out his due on the show. Seeing him off screen, we can definitely notice a very obvious bald spot and thinning hair. He doesn't seem like a particularly vain actor, so it's a bit of a mystery as to why he had the hair piece at all. That's what I got. I was losing my hair in 99. No. What do you yes, mean? Yes, I was. It's not news that McConaughey wears wigs regularly in film since he started losing hair quite young, but we were shocked to learn that even in Interstellar, arguably his least glam role, he had a hair piece. It's subtle, but definitely there. Look at this guy. Does it seem like he shouldn't be balding? It could probably go either way, but maybe McConaughey is just used to it now. How cute are you? Can we? Oh, that's like with my braces and my my uh, haircut that was inspired by Duran Duran. Do we stand Gabrielle Union and her gorgeous hair? Yes. Yes, we do. However, it is sensitive, so in order to avoid too much heat and treatment, Union manages to pull off wigs in tons of her roles. We have to say that this wig and Bring It On is one of the best for sure. Look how natural it looks. It definitely suits her well. Although she does look good in pretty much any hairstyle. Carrie Washington is a total boss in Scandal. And so is her hair. Her wigs on the show are so good, we had a hard time telling when she was wearing one and when she wasn't, like when she was kidnapped in this episode. The wigs actually say a lot about the reality many black women face in the world since so often their natural hair isn't considered professional enough for the workplace. The reasons for these actors wearing wigs are so varied, but all of them shockingly convincing. The Hollywood hairstylists definitely deserve a raise for pulling off such strong looks to help actors hide their true locks. Did you realize almost every single Stranger Things actor was wearing a wig?